Hey guys, today we'll be learning about nmap scan techniques and we'll also be learning about the difference between stealth scans and not so stealth scans. And we'll also use a couple of scripts to check uh, whether our target is vulnerable or not. So first uh, we'll, uh, we'll have to install nmap here, I'm using Ubuntu. So to install it on Ubuntu, I'll just go to sudo apt get install nmap password and it will get installed uh, if you're using windows you can just go to the website nmap.org and you can download it from there okay, and go to nmap.org and you can download it from here so available here all right once you install that uh, we can go to the next step that's we can start performing some scans on our targets uh, so first of all like uh, there are two types of scans maybe one is the one one are the stealth scans and uh, the second is the not so stealth scan scan which generates a lot of logs so if you if you have to check you can you can do nmap help and it will show us all of the uh, all of the options that we can use with nmap uh, if we can use these uh, here are some scan techniques SSS for the scare, stealth scans. So let's let's go use uh, these. Let's uh, learn about these two today. SS and ST. So uh, here, uh, let me make you understand like what's what SS and ST scans are. So nmap works like uh, it sends the it sends data packets to the target, and uh, then once the once it receives back some data packets, it uh, it then analyzes them and uh, shows us some results. So, uh, there are two types of scans, as I told you, the stealth scan and uh, the other one that generates a lot of logs. So, uh, it's the S3 scan or the TCP connect scan that generates a lot of logs. So how the TCP connect scan works, it's uh, like nmap sends a synchronized packet to the server or our target, uh, and the target sends back synchronized acknowledge packet and then our uh, the, then the nmap sends again acknowledge packet to the server and this way a connection is established a tcp connection is established between our uh, between our computer and uh, for our machine and uh, the target machine so what what it actually means is that if i'm tra talking to a person i'll say hey can i talk to you uh, the other person will respond yeah sure and i'll say thank you so uh, that's how how this works so this way a lot of a lot of uh, logs are generated, and if I receive an uh, if I receive an acknowledgement uh, from uh, from the other from the target, that means uh, the port is open. And if I don't receive, uh, like if, uh, if if the other person or if uh, if it says no or if the server responds with an RST packet, then the connection is dropped. So this way, a log of logs are generated. But uh, uh, if we use this uh, if we use the stealth scan. That is the lowercase s and uppercase s scan. Uh, our nmap will send a synchronized packet to the server. As soon as the server sends a synchronized acknowledge packet, nmap will drop the connection by sending an RST packet and uh, make the server drop the connection. Uh, so this way, no logs are generated because the connection was never established. So what that means is, like, if I'm talking to a person, I'll say, "Hey, can I talk to you?" The person will respond, "Yeah, sure." Then I'll say, "Get lost." This way, I know the person can hear me. It's uh, uh, that uh, the target's online, but I don't have to like send uh, acknowledge packet to generate logs. And uh, if the if if the server responds with an RST uh, uh, RST packet, then it means either uh, the port is closed or there's some kind of firewall installed. And so let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, see how these two scans work. Okay. So here, uh, to perform an SS scan, you don't need uh, root privilege because it's the default scan. When I do, if you, if I just go ahead and run like, run a scan like this on our local server, it will run the SS scan because it's the default scan for nmap. So here, I'll go and type stealth scan one nine two zero one six eight dot six eight star one one, and here enter. Oh. Oh, so it says uh, 
Yeah, I have installed Nmap uh, with boot privileges only. I have allowed uh, boot users to use Nmap, so I will just go ahead and do sudo Nmap. All right, uh, it will take some time, so I will go pause the video from there. All right, uh, the scan is complete, and as you can see, it gave me a lot of TCP ports, open like 2553, the DNS port, uh, blah blah blah, and. Uh, so if you're like uh, if you're not authorized to if you're not authorized to um, uh, scan uh, someone's network, uh, this is your scan of choice because it doesn't generate any logs on the uh, on the server or on the target. And uh, as uh, now uh, what we'll do is we'll run an SD scan. Uh, that's uh, the TCP connect scan, but. That generates a lot of that generates a lot of logs. Let's see how that works. We'll just change this to sudo nmap uh, space tag lowercase s uppercase t uh, the target IP address and let it run. All right, as you can see, like uh, there's n uh, the these are the same. The output is same, uh, almost same. There are some differences between these, uh, some other differences between these scans, which we'll cover in other videos. But uh, this scan, uh, the second scan, it generated a lot of. Uh, if I check the server logs, there there would be a lot of logs right now because uh, it uh, uh, it has like finished three-way handshakes a, a lot of times. So that's how this works, and uh, this uh, this one is the most. This one is the stealth scan, the SS scan, and this one is TCP connect scan, which generates a lot of logs, as I told you. Now let's go ahead and uh, do some, use a couple of scripts uh, to see whether uh, our target is vulnerable or not. I'm sure it's not, but uh, anyways, let's go ahead and check it. So I'll do sudo nmap of this script, then vul dot one six eight dot six six dot one okay we'll take some time let's wait for it so the scan is complete and as you can see as it's a windows server and uh, uh if uh, if we if you check the results it uh, it found a vulnerability actually and uh, here you can see that Check it a couple of uh, couple. Check it for a couple of vulnerabilities on the open ports, and uh, here we can see these uh, these results. So, yeah, SMB remote code execution vulnerability in Microsoft SMB version servers. So, this way, this is uh, it's like a very easy. It's an easy way to find uh, vulnerabilities in our target. And uh, there's one more. Uh, there's one more script that we can use. It's uh, pretty fun. It's the D DOS server denial of service uh, denial of service script. So what we can do? We, uh, we have to do sudo nmap tag tag script uh, DOS and our target IP dot sixty six dot eleven. And uh, so one more thing is that. Like uh, the SD scan, uh, the second scan, it should be your la last resort. Like this, uh, never use this scan on any uh, unauthorizedly because yeah, you will leave a lot of tracks. You will leave a, a lot of RSDs on the server. Okay, so wait, uh, let's let's wait for it to finish. And uh, yeah. Uh, there's one more uh, scan type until until this is finished that we that I want to cover in this video. That's the UDP scan. So basically, what a UDP scan is like uh, it sends uh, the the nmap sends uh, the nmap sends a packet to the target and it sends a UDP packet to the target. Uh, the target uh, if the target responds with port unreachable or something else, that means the that means the port is open on the server and uh, the port is reachable. Uh, but if if the if the if our uh, nmap sends 
a UDP packet to the target but the target doesn't respond at all that means the port is closed it's like uh, I'm, I'm talking to a person and I'll, I'm calling a person and saying hey can I talk to you the person says I cannot listen to you that means the port is open the person is still there I, I can talk to him uh, but if uh, if, I, if I call someone and say hey can I talk to you and there's no response that means the port is closed so that's how we, uh, the the UDP scan type works and we'll also scan our target here for uh, for the UDP ports all right uh, let's give some time uh, be back in a sec uh, okay this is taking too long so I guess it's not vulnerable to the uh, denial of service attack so I'll just uh, control C it and uh, there's one more one more cool script uh, to use like if the ports are filtered or if there's a firewall installed on the on the target you can use this script and map like that script space firewall attack bypass and your target IP address and uh, this will basically it will bypass firewall and run the default scan that's the SS scan uh, the stealth scan and uh, show us some open TCB uh, ports uh, so let's let's run it and see what happens uh, all right the scan is complete as uh, we are on the LAN I don't think the firewall is stopping us from doing anything so we got the same results here and uh, here and here and uh, now there's one more scan type I want uh, I wanted to in include in this video so it's uh, the UDP scan the stealth UDP scan so how you can scan for UDP ports is type sudo space mmap dac su and your target IP address 6611 let it run uh, alright uh, guess uh, there are either no UDP ports open on our server or it's taking too long so I'll just go ahead and close it here now in the next video will be uh, will be uh, what do you call it will be uh, We'll be exploiting, yeah, we'll be exploiting this vulnerability here, SMB MS 17-010. And uh, we'll be exploiting this uh, maybe using Metasploit or uh, some other tool that uh, maybe, yeah, we'll, we'll exploit it using Metasploit. And we'll also explain, I'll also explain you some other scan techniques like uh, difference between XMAS uh, scans, scans, fins, fin scans, and uh, some other scan types. So, uh, be sure to uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and don't forget to tick that bell icon so that you can receive uh, notifications when I upload uh, the second part of this video, uh, in which we'll cover uh, the exploitation of this vulnerability that we found on our target. See ya. Bye-bye.